Hi everyone, it's Winston here from Microsia MD. In ear reconstruction surgery, the two most common commonly used material for ear framework are the rib cartilage and med pole. Today we'll talk about the advantage and disadvantage of each of the material. Firstly, rib cartilage is probably the most commonly used material for ear reconstruction. The advantage of using rib cartilage are firstly, it's an autologous material, meaning it comes from the patient's body. So it is the patient's own tissue which eliminates the risk of foreign body rejection and the risk of infection. And secondly, durability. After the surgery, the framework becomes part of the patient's body and grows naturally to a certain extent with the patient. The long-term complications such as extrusion or infection, the rate is also very low. And finally, natural feel. After surgery, the cartilage framework feels more like a natural ear when compared to synthetic material. The disadvantage of using rib cartilage are, firstly, the donor site morbidity. The surgery requires harvesting cartilage from the ribs, which can cause pain after surgery. And depending on the surgical technique, a certain extent of scarring and really chest wall deformity can occur. It's also a technically demanding procedure. Sculpting the cartilage into a precise ear framework requires high surgical skills, which is why choosing an experienced surgeon is very important. Limited cartilage in young children can also be a problem. In very young children, sometimes there can be a chance where there might not be enough rib cartilage, or the rib cartilage might not have enough tensile strength for the ear framework, which is why we often recommend the ideal age for ear reconstruction surgery to be between 7 to 12 and not too young. And finally, reabsorption risk. Over time, some cartilage may reabsorb, leading to structural change. However, the risk reabsorption is often minimal. And now, on to MedPol. MedPol is a porous polyethylene implant which first introduced in the 1980s. The advantage of MedPol is, firstly, it does not require donor site. So it avoids rib harvesting, therefore there are usually less pain after surgery. It is a pre-mold framework, meaning it comes pre-shaped, therefore it requires little sculpting skills. However, the disadvantage of MedPol is also obvious. As mentioned, MedPol is a pre-mold framework, so the framework is identical. While the ear of each child is unique, therefore the ear will not be symmetrical after surgery. There is also the risk of foreign body reaction. Being synthetic, it carries a small risk of infection or extrusion, especially if the skin is too thin. High infection risk can also be a problem. If exposed, MedPol is more prone to infection than autologous tissue. MedPol also has a less natural feel. The MedPol can feel stiffer than rib cartilage, so the cosmetic outcome is often not as good as rib cartilage. And finally, the long-term stability is also a concern. It may fracture or require revision after subjected to trauma. So, which is better? MedPol is an alternative for patients with insufficient rib cartilage or those wanting to avoid donor site morbidity. While rib cartilage is often the preferred choice for ear reconstruction, especially in children due to the growth compatibility and long-term stability. With rib cartilage, surgeons are able to create an ear that is uniquely tailored for the patient, which is where the experience and surgical expertise becomes important. Dr. Su Zhong Guo at Microsia MD have 30 years of experience in ear reconstruction and have performed over 8,000 cases of ear reconstruction surgery. If you want to know more information, feel free to contact us at Microsia MD. And we'll see you next time.